Hey everybody, it's Pastor Dave. I'm coming to you from my office. Um, quick announcement before we begin. This is the second to last time we're doing a confirmation video. Uh, this week we're going to talk about uh, Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life. And next week we're going to do a little look back on the year and uh, see all that we've learned. So, before we get into our scripture lesson, uh, let's take a minute to share our highs and lows. Remember, you can comment down below with your highs and lows, or you can text them to a friend, or uh, remind app me. Uh, I just want to make sure that you're sharing your highs and lows with somebody, and that goes for confirmation students, or anybody who's watching this video. Sharing your highs and lows is a good way for you to make sure that you're checking in with people, uh, taking care of your mental health. It's a very important thing. So for me, my low, um, I actually, as I was setting up this camera, I had to move some things around and boom, the tripod fell on my face. I don't know if you can actually see it, but uh, I'm pretty glad nobody was around to see it. It was pretty goofy. But that's, uh, that's my low for right now. I just feel a little silly. Uh, but my high uh, on my day off on Monday, I spent time doing some woodworking. I uh, made a cajon, a South American drum. And it's really fun. It's just kind of a, a goofy thing to play with. Uh, it doesn't sound great. And there's not a lot I can do about that. But eh, it was fun. It was, I enjoyed making it. Um, and I, I think that that's an important thing, is whether a project succeeds or not, finding the positive in it. I'm doing my best to channel my wife and be an optimist. <laughs> uh, so, let's jump into our reading for today. So I already said we're talking about Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life. So this is John 14, 1-7. Now, the gospel lesson for this Sunday is John 14, 1 to 14, but for this, we're just going to focus on the first half. So Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. And will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may also be. And you know the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Here ends our lesson. This is a pretty powerful piece of scripture, and we often take it out of its context. We, uh, we talk about this as John 14, 6. I still remember from my camp days, uh, this was one of the uh, lessons that we learned, one of the scripture pieces that we pulled out and they made a fun little thing for it. And I, I do remember it. I do. Jesus answered the question, how do I get to heaven? He said, hey, hey, I am the truth, the life, the way. And no one, yes, no one, not your neighbor, brother, mother, may get to the father except through me. What up? Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> it's just a silly thing. I still remember the one from like a couple years ago. It was set to Frozen. And a couple years before that, uh, it was set to, uh, what was it? Like a Tayo Cruz song or something. I don't remember. Um, but we remember these pieces of scripture. And honestly, I'm sure that a lot of people who are watching this you have a piece of scripture memorized from a song that we sing, maybe from a hymn, but a lot of us learned them at camp. And that's really great. It's good for us to have scripture to pull back on um, when we need that, when we need help, when we need uh, that peace of mind. 
it helps us to find where God is when we're in a difficult circumstance. The thing is, we need to remember that this is in context, that this is about something, and Jesus is responding to his disciples. See, at this moment, Jesus is predicting his death. He's saying that he knows that he will die, and his disciples don't want to believe it. His disciples are afraid. And Jesus takes this time to explain what's going on. He explains that, yeah, he's going to die, but that's not the end of the story. There's something much more important. He's going to die, he's going to rise, and he's going to prepare a place for us. And that sounds like kind of a crazy thing. We don't know where he's going. We don't know the path. How will we know the way? So Jesus says, I am the way. And I am what is true. And I am the life that you are looking for. These past five or six weeks, it feels like we don't know what the life we're looking for is. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of questions about what's going on and what will be going on. And we continue to look to the future, which is where we need to look. We need to look for the hope that God provides. And we don't know the way. But we know the way. We know the way, the truth, and the life that is leading us. I hope that we can internalize that. That when we feel down or when we worry about the future, we can remember what Jesus said about the lilies of the valley. They don't take care of themselves, but they're clothed more richly than Solomon. We can remember what Jesus says about the sparrow. The sparrow is out in the field. It doesn't plant or reap. It doesn't do anything, but God somehow provides. And how much more precious are you to God than a sparrow or a lily? He sent his son for you. He sent his son for all of us. So that we could know the way, the truth, and the life. And that we could live our lives in abundance. Caring for each other. Working for a better world. And always following on that path. It's going to feel difficult sometimes. But on those days when we struggle to believe, we know that we have brothers and sisters in Christ who continue to walk with us, leading us, guiding us, and pointing us back onto that path. So with all that said, let's take a moment to pray. Holy God, we give you thanks for the life of your Son, You gave us a teacher, a leader, a shepherd, a messiah, a savior. Help us to follow in his path, working for the good of all peoples, for the good of all creation, always thinking how we can serve you better. Help us to have no fear, to know that your love surrounds us and supports us. And no matter what the outcome, you are always beside us. Help us to trust in the promises that you have made and to remember that you are the God who raises people from the dead. You are the God who brings life and light into the world. You are the God who takes the blinders off of our eyes and helps us find peace. Amen. So now I encourage you to 
uh, to send out a message to somebody, blessing them or bless someone in your own household. And I'll leave you with this blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you later.